And I just think it's important to watch how we talk to ourselves, but sometimes how we talk to other people is how we talk to ourselves. Mm, that's good. Right? We're mean to other people. So we're mean, mm. we're just mean. So we're mean to ourselves too. Yeah. And yeah. so what I found is as people start to be nicer to themselves, they also become nicer to it'll, other people because they become a nice person. Mm, that's good. Right. And so maybe that should be an affirmation for some folks who are mean. I am a nice person and keep saying that because your mean butt needs to get nicer. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but I, I just think, you know, again, these things are so impactful when I see folks, they're in a hole and they keep digging mm. and they're trying to get out, but they get deeper because they keep saying the things that cause them to feel like they're deeper. Wow. And they don't feel like they're progressing because they're looking down that up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, and it sounds motivational, but it's real. It's legit. Yes. Like people can really mentally pull themselves out of a, a bad place. And then all of a sudden they feel better. When they feel better, they attract better. They do better. And um, that's amazing how that works. Yeah. Because it, it, it really it really does. Yeah. We it watch really it does. all the time. Yeah. If you're a go-getter, faith-driven and family-focused and need to break through to your next level, this is the podcast for you. Your self-talk can reshape every area of your life. It's time to dream and think big. Welcome to the Self-Talk Experience with Darnell and Tracy Self. It's time to elevate, baby. Let's get into the show. Hey, what's up, everybody? Darnell Self here with my co-host. Tracy Self. And we are the Self Talk Experience Podcast. Babe, we're almost, we're close to 100 episodes. I know. This is crazy. Oh my God. I know. We're going on two years. Yes. Yeah, in a, in a couple of months, it'll be two years, guys. And so we thank you all for your support. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments. Uh, it's meant the world to us. And we pray that yes. um, these episodes are helping you out to say better things to yourself about yourself. Remember the things we say to ourselves Absolutely. about ourselves eventually determines what and even who we attract for ourselves. Can you guys say that now? Do you like know this by heart? Because I see <laughs> every episode. You should know. You, you should be in your sleep saying the things I say to myself <laughs> about myself eventually will determine what and even who Is you attract that for how yourself. people talk in their sleep? <laughs> I don't just, think so. You're like a zombie. <laughs> what in the Maybe world? I'm sleepwalking. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. How do you think you should say it in your sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I don't know. You should say it like our uh, like Donald. Okay. And remember, talk good to yourself. That's right. That's right. I love his voiceover. Hey guys. Um, so today, this is a self-talk experience podcast. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about talking good to yourself. Okay. And in some past episodes, we just alluded to things that you can shift in your own language being more kind to yourself, being sensitive to your growth and where you are and your circumstances so that you're not beating up on yourself. The world is already enough. Mm. It's tough. Yeah. Right. They're, people aren't nice always. Mm -hmm. And so at least be nice to yourself. And I know that I beat up on myself. Like, come on, D, we got this. You Right. So sometimes I'm, I'm hard on myself, I should say, not really beating up on myself, but I'm hard on myself. But I still work on saying kind things. Yeah, to but myself. still good self-talk. Yeah, right? absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And so being hard on yourself is not the same as being mean to yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So so I know I'm hard on myself because I expect greatness, um, not perfection, but excellence. Yes, absolutely. And so there's always a place to get better. But um but I don't want folks to, to be mean to themselves because that puts them in a dark place if they're not careful. Well, that is affirmations. Yep. Right? Yep, absolutely. But it's, you're taking it further than affirmations. Yeah. So in, in, in the morning, you can you know say your affirmations as if you already are who you're going to be. Mm -hmm. Like, I am a millionaire. Mm -hmm. um, I do respond to people in the best way to make them feel great about themselves. So those are affirmations. So, so that, what are you saying? What's the difference then? So I'm saying for, I wrote down some things here okay. because these are things that I've heard people say to themselves. I'm like, Hey, have you ever tried to say this instead of that? And they're like, Oh, oh yeah, my gosh, it's so it. helpful. So I wrote down some things that I hear people say often. It's like some negative self-talk. Like I can sing when you really can't sing that kind of stuff. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> you, 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 you watch um, what's the show American, American Idol. Idol all yeah. the time and the people on there are that's not their best talent yeah. but their family is there 
affirming this. Yeah. And maybe you have to decide what's your best talent. Yeah, no, I agree. Right? I agree because sometimes <laughs> people say things like, um, you know, I'll never be as good as them. And, and there may be a talent where you may not be. You may not be able to run as fast as them. Right. Sing so as find good as them. your strength. That, well, yes. And talk positively to yourself about that strength. Uh, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. But there's a way for well, you to say, like, if, if, if you're like, I'll never be like them, you can say, you know what? I'm so proud of my own special and unique talents. Good. That's good. Right. So you could say something like that because your talents are unique to you. Your talents yeah. are special to you. But singing may not be one of them. Right. Or cooking. Some people. Right. <laughs> Like, stop telling them that mac and cheese is good. It's not good. <laughs> They're going to keep making it. No, it's very true, though. It's very true. Like, you can't, if you don't like it, you know, I know we don't want to hurt people's feelings. It's not your, it's not your affirmation. But man. we are saying, saying good stuff to yourself. You change this into what to say to other people. We're not talking about that on this episode. That'll be another episode. Okay. All right. Okay. So this episode is what you're saying to you. Unless you're telling yourself, I don't like my own mac and cheese. Mac I don't even cheese. know why they like it. Right. <laughs> so that's <something laughs> different. So, all right. So I wrote down some okay. things. You are hilarious. So there are folks who th say things like, I hear folks say things like, I can't believe I missed that goal. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I messed that up. I can't believe I made that mistake. Which is nothing wrong with admitting that you've made the mistake. Nothing wrong with admitting that, man, just missed that goal. Mm -hmm. Being aware. But to be mean to yourself about it, like, I am a loser. I am a failure. I can't believe I did not accomplish that. I didn't get in the game. I didn't, you know, achieve that um, that weight. I didn't, mm -hmm. you know, all the things that right. reason why people feel like they're a failure. Right. And so, you know, I try to help people with, you know, saying some better things to themselves. Like, hey, my comeback from this set from this setback is going to be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like I am so resilient that I know this didn't happen, but that part of my story is going to motivate so many people because I went backwards before I went forward. So there's always a positive spin yes. you can put on a negative self talk. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So and the good, the good thing is when you have your friends involved with self-talk, the things we're saying to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And your friends call you out on it because they watch the self-talk experience too. They're able to say, hey, change that up. But what What's about- What's a different way you can say that? I know, but sometimes it's internal. Yeah. No one's hearing you say it. I know. That's why we're attracting more people to watch the self-talk experience. Yes. Because when you are by yourself, you have to make that shift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And say, you know what? That's not, I, I need to change how I'm saying that to myself. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. So, so that's one of the things, right? I wrote down just a few few of these things, and we can discuss them. Or you can throw something, throw some out if you think about what you hear people say. Sure. And now, you know, perhaps to, together we can help people to say better things to themselves. And you too, executive producer behind the camera, if there's something that yeah, throw you, some stuff out at yeah, at so us. we can we can help out, we can help you out with your negative self talk. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> she says she's going to get a mic so she can really, y'all can really hear her. So, um, okay. So how about I'm so far away from this? Like I'm so far away. Uh, if you're playing sports in the depth chart, I'm so mm. far away from hitting this goal. I'm so far away from hitting this milestone, a financial milestone. I'm so far away. And it seems farther because you're telling yourself it's so far away. So what do you say? I'm looking forward to getting higher on a depth chart? Yeah, you, you could. Or you can say, uh, I'm so excited about my progress. Oh, if, yes. if you've moved, right? Mm -hmm. You've had some movement. Mm -hmm. You've done something. You've showed up at the gym. You may not be the weight you want to be. And people at the gym could see you for the size you are. And like, whoa, you know what I mean? But th thinking about your size, but they don't know you already have been showing up for two weeks. Right. It's just judgment on our part. And I think sometimes we think about what other people think about us and it causes us to say things to ourselves, what we think they're saying to us. Right. It's so funny you said that because you know how when we're working out at the gym and we may see someone who's heavier, mm -hmm. but you don't know if that's less than what they that's exactly weighed right. a month ago. That's exactly right. That could be progress for them. That's exactly right. Right. So you don't know what that looks like. Yeah, exactly right. That's like, you know, judging a homeless person who's at a job interview. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. at the job interview. Yeah, 
Absolutely. You, you know what I mean? So there's progress. And I just think it's important to watch how we talk to ourselves, but sometimes how we talk to other people is how we talk to ourselves. Mm, that's good. Right? We're mean to other people. So we're mean, mm. we're just mean. So we're mean to ourselves too. Yeah. And yeah. so what I found is as people start to be nicer to themselves, they also become nicer to it'll, other people because they become a nice person. Mm, that's good. Right? And so maybe that should be an affirmation for some folks who are mean. I am a nice person. And keep saying that because your mean butt needs to get nicer. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but I, I just think, you know, again, these things are so impactful. When I see folks, they're in a hole and they keep digging. Mm. And they're trying to get out, but they get deeper because they keep saying the things that cause them to feel like they're deeper. Wow. And they don't feel like they're progressing because they're looking down that up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, and it sounds motivational, but it's real. It's legit. Yes. Like people can really mentally pull themselves out of a, a bad place. And then all, all of a sudden they feel better. When they feel better, they attract better. They do better. And um, that's amazing how that works. Yeah. Because it, it really, it really does. Yeah. We it watch really it all does. the time. Yeah. I mean, I, we live it. Mm-hmm. We live it. There's situations where we're like, okay, let's be positive about this. Whether it's at the airport, because we're always dealing with something at the airport because we fly so often. And we just work it out. We were at we were at the uh, car dealership. I'm not car dealership. We were at the rental car place uh, going to um, see our son play football, which is crazy because we had a choice to drive seven and a half hours, and I was like, I don't want to drive seven and a half hours. I didn't even know you could be in Pennsylvania for that long, but <laughs> or we could catch a flight to Ohio, which is so crazy, and then drive an hour and forty minutes to Erie, Pennsylvania, to to the game. So we land, the flight was delayed. We land and we go to the rental car place in the line, I guess, because a lot of delays was crazy for the rental car place. And they had already sent me an alert saying that they had canceled my reservation because I forgot to call them and tell them that we were going to be three hours late. Mm -hmm. Um, They just didn't cancel. They say you have to go to the desk now, to the front desk. But they had already sent me a previous email that said, hey, your car is located in this spot outside on this row. So we saw the long line and I was like, I'll be right back. I'm going to the restroom. I was in the restroom. I looked outside and I saw all the cars and I thought, I wonder if that car is out there in that <laughs> space. So I came back to you and I was like, hey. Because um, I was standing in line for you. You were standing in line, it's just in case. Mm-hmm. I was like, come on. You were like, what? Let's lead the line. And we walked out there, got in the car that was in the space and drove us. And you were like, what's going to happen? I was like, Look, they can just say. I thought they were going to report the car stolen, <laughs> but luckily for us, we were taking it out of out of Ohio and going to Pennsylvania. So I was like, "Well, they're not going to really find us by the time we bring the car back." That is anyway. not what she said. So, <laughs> you we were not, fine. You did not think that way. So the guy, the attendant, when we were pulling up, he's like, "I just need your paperwork." I said, "Oh, we don't have paperwork. I got an email earlier that said that uh, I just had to go to the space and get it." Uh, so I just had to show you my ID, right? He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah just give me your ID." And um, he's like, okay, sir, go ahead. Other one, but say we had to wait in line. Well, you know, I'm, look, all I'm saying is, I'm not saying go do the wrong thing. I was I'm, a little nervous, but very turned on at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting how that works. I don't know. My point yeah. is this. I, look, I don't want people to do anything that's, that's not ethical. What I'm saying is that I feel like sometimes people just follow and they don't give life a shot. Like, go for it. Like, don't break a law, right. but go for it, right? And this happens nine times out of 10. I'm not even exaggerating. Nine times out of 10, we fly out of uh, BWI, we live in Maryland. Nine times out of 10, we are, we see a long line in going through security. Oh, yeah. And there's another line. Nobody's in. For pre-check. For pre-check. And we always take. The, the second line with no one in. Now, these are two lines for, for the same thing, going to the same security you folks for pre-check. You me. I did it when I flew by myself the other day. You did? I did. Wow. The line was long. The and folks I was like, looked at you my like, baby why? wouldn't stand in this line. And I went and, and I walked right up. Yep. And it's not, it's not unethical. You're not breaking. It's just, you're just not following the crowd. The, line, the, the lane is open for everybody. But people will go and get behind the lane where they see everybody else, the mm-hmm. line where they see everybody mm-hmm. else. So anyway, we're just saying that I don't even know how we got way off. So, what should your self talk be for that? When, when what happens? When it's a long line. I mean, if there's another opportunity to take the shorter line 
just because other people in the long line doesn't mean that they're right. So that's a part um, of posture. Your self talk can change your posture as well. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying is that I always expect to make the flight. So listen, I'm I'm going to take the route that expediently allows me to get through security. <laughs> Um, she's talking behind the camera. She's even if you leave home late, I just expect that, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make the flight no matter what. Since we're so. talking about the airport and flights. If you ever want to be on time, you don't want to ride with us. <laughs> you don't No, we're on time. We're just not early. If you ever want to be early, that's the Are we difference. On time? Yeah. We get there right before, like literally minutes before boarding. <laughs> right. We're, that's on time. We, we get there and we board. They're like, all right, boarding. We're like walking right up. Typically, 99% of the time. Yes, babe. All right. All right. So we, we're going to keep going here. We have a couple other things that I hear people say. And I'm like, no, don't say that. Um, like, I can't believe I can't go. Oh. You know what I mean? That makes you feel like sad, disappointed. Mm -hmm. Could be frustrated if you haven't been able to go in a while. Can't go on the trips with your friends. Can't go to that particular restaurant. Well, can't even go. Can't go get my nails done. Can't right. go. Like, Yes, right. And, we, and we've lived that. Absolutely. Right. We've lived that. So but you can shift that and say, I can't wait to be able to mm -hmm. and still celebrate. We found when you celebrate other people for what they're able to do and you genuinely mean it, then it puts you in position to be up next. Yeah. Right. Because you're in you're part of that celebratory crew. Right. And it's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited you guys are able to do that. That must be awesome. Yes. Right. And so that's different than must be nice. Which I know <laughs> you don't like sometimes, <laughs> but it's all, but it's all in how that's said. That's the whole episode. Right. Must be nice that you're able to do that. How awesome is that? Oh my God. I'm so happy for you. That's different than must be nice. You know, you don't really do anything, but you're able to do all that stuff. What? <laughs> you and these voices and the pot, you're hilarious today. Because <laughs> that, you used to, listen, I'm going to tell you what, why this triggers. Just so y'all know where this is rooted from. Mm -hmm. The whole must be nice. I know this is the self-talk being mean to yourself. You used to be mean to yourself because you felt like you chose to feel like people were being um, judgmental because you were a stay-at-home mom. Now you're so comfortable with the soft life. You're like, this is my life. I'm good. They but were being, what do you mean? I thought mean. they were. I knew they were. Oh man, what were they saying? Babe, it's okay. No, I would like to know. <laughs> Wouldn't y'all like to know what they what they were saying? I want to know now. What were they saying? That I used to sit at home and eat bonbons all day. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Not do <laughs> Why is that funny? What's a bon the, the, the bonbon? Isn't that like a... A bonbon is like a little chocolate covered candy. It could have like a ganache in it or caramel. Sometimes it has alcohol in it. Like a bonbon. <laughs> you sound bougie. <laughs> you sound like you were sitting home eating bonbons. We couldn't afford the bonbons. Mm, okay. All right. But that is, can you I guess that could be bonbons? me. bonbons? Yeah, I, I don't, I think I heard of that before. For our 100th episode, we're going to have some bonbons. Okay, we'll have bonbons. So people say, oh, she's not doing, she's sitting at home eating bonbons. That is kind of, that's probably mean. It, but yes, it was yeah. not nice. Yeah. Hurt my feelings. Yeah. Okay. So now I can see where that's rooted in when people say, must be nice. Like, yeah. Yeah, it goes deep. Yeah. Okay. So. So um, off subject. No, kind of. No, kind of. So look, guys, we're talking about saying, but like, I can't believe I can't go. I can't wait. And I'm so happy for you that you're able to. Yes. Right. And so how awesome is that? Like, I'm up next. Like, I'm next. Right. I'm excited because in the next two years, I'm telling you, that's my goal. You all, you all are goals. Like, that is awesome to be able to grow to a place where you can be that person. Yeah. That I mean, I strive to be that way in every area of my life. Yeah. I really, really do. Good. That's a great person to be. Yeah. It really People is. are happy for you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and know that they have the opportunity to do it. May not be able to do it right now, but they mm -hmm. know the opportunity is there because you are, you're an example of what's possible. Or or even if it's not something you particularly want to do, that's true. Just too. to celebrate someone else because they're happy doing it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It means a lot. Yeah. I might not want to go at all, but yeah. because you can go and you're happy and you worked hard to get there, I love that for you. Yeah. And sometimes people, for some reason, can't say it. Right. Can't bring yourself to say it. Right. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. But And that's what you just said is perfect because that's another thing I hear folks say. That's just not me. That's not my personality. 
That's not. And instead of saying, I look forward to becoming the person that mm-hmm. can think. And that's what you just say. I'm looking forward to becoming yes. like more like that. To be even more like that. Right. To just like you said, because nice. you could easy say it. That's not, that's just not me. Well, I would never do that. Right. That's not well, me. But they're having gonna... fun and they enjoy it. Right. And they worked hard to get there. So right. I would not be happy. With yeah. That. Yeah. Right. No, I, I think it's good when people say things like, you know, I'm not good enough. No, I'm I'm capable. I'm I'm stronger. Mm-hmm. I'm getting stronger and I'm becoming more capable. I'm be, I'm working on my skills. I'm working on who I am. So I'm looking forward yeah. to to being a, being the person to attract that. Yeah, uh, I'll said. go through just a, a couple more that I have here um, that I hear folks often say. Uh, I don't understand why I'm here. Why I'm here? Like, how did I get here? I mean, I don't understand. And again, that puts you in a place where you feel sorry for yourself and there's nothing wrong with sad is a real emotion. Sure. Right. So I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't be sad. Grief is a real emotion. You shouldn't allow other people to tell you, you know, how quickly you should get over it and what you need to do to get over it. So these are real emotions. That's not what we're saying. What we're saying is sometimes it's helpful to say different things to yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, I don't understand why I'm here. Maybe... I'm thankful for what I'm learning in this season. I I know I say that to myself sometimes when I'm in not in a place that I thought I'd be in. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I'm so thankful for what I'm learning here because yes, I take responsibility. I made the mistake. I did that. I got us here. I put us in this place. But it's funny. um, You say that um, a few Sundays ago, um, Amari Hughes was talking about that. Mm -hmm. He was talking about when you finally get to the place where you are doing better and you're not there anymore. Sometimes we miss the blessing because we're so focused on how we got there mm-hmm. and what what we did wrong. Well, now you're you're not there anymore, right? Yep. And you're missing so you're missing what you're getting yeah. because your your mind keeps going back to. I mean, I know I'm here, but I just can't believe I had to go through all of that. Yep. Okay, just let it go yep. and focus on now when it now it is better. Yeah, and and you know what's and that's funny? tough because I find myself doing that too. You're so right, and I know you did. When he said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, when he said that, it was like a light bulb. Like, wow, you you do that, right? Yep. You're like, I know I'm doing well now, but man, I remember. Why are we doing that? Right, right. Unless you're sharing your testimony to no, be impactful. No, this is just yeah. the internal I know. talks we have I with know. ourselves that I'm talking about. I know. And I'm so familiar with. So when he said that, I was like, wow, that's so key. You know what's so funny? It really Let is. Let me tell you about Tracy Self. <laughs> it really is. What's funny is that it you're is that true. way in everything, though. Like we're talking about people who say things like, I don't understand. And they're trying to gain the understanding. And sometimes you're not going to understand. At like all. you're not going to ever know why that happened. And the key is to be grateful that you learned through it and that you've gone through it. Mm-hmm. Um, and that perhaps you'll never have to go through it again. And you have to move on. Right. But it. what I'm saying is in every area of your life, you do. I don't want people to think it's just like what you're talking about now. What? It's like we could watch a movie. <laughs> And I she, go down a rabbit hole. I know. I and do. she, because she doesn't understand <laughs> something that, why that, I'm like, they didn't want you to understand. That, was a, that wasn't a part of the movie. That wasn't even in the movie. She was like, I wonder what happened to know, the little girls when they got older. I don't, is it movie ended? It's I hard no, for us to even watch because I like to pause it. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, so wait, wait, wait. So what do you think he was thinking? Because that's crazy. And you're like, what? I'm like, what? That's not, but. The, the whoever wrote wonder? this movie, whoever directed the movie, didn't want you to think that. They wanted you to think this. <laughs> okay. So, well. yeah. So that's the point. Look, we won't go over all of these uh, today. Oh, wow. Was, <laughs> there was that many? It's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Because people say things all the time. Like, don't say that to yourself. Well, we can have another we'll episode. We'll infuse them into some of the other episodes. So, listen, guys. So, just, <laughs> just um, be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Mm-hmm. And being hard on yourself is different than being mean to yourself. So make sure you're signing the right meaning when you're thinking about how you're talking to yourself, right? Yes, push yourself. Yes, expect more from yourself. But try not to be mean to yourself while you're doing that. Remember, this is the self-talk experience. So the things we say to ourselves about ourselves would eventually determine what we attract for ourselves. Yep. And... (laughs) That was a pause before that end. It's not mean. If you don't make good mac and cheese, just don't bring it. (laughs) See you guys. Thank you for listening to the Self Talk Podcast with Darnell and Tracy Self. We hope you enjoyed. Be sure to rate and review this podcast on your favorite podcast listening platform. And we'll see you next time. And remember, talk talk good to yourself.